Hi everybody, it's uh, one of them sleepless night things, um, 2nd of November, 22, 4 o'clock in the morning, I went to bed about half nine, and uh, woke up about three, so, on the whole, I had a canny sleep, I suppose, like, but... Anyway, I'm wide awake now. So, I thought I'd just have a walk around. It's supposed to be... Heavy rain and strong winds and that, the day. So, I thought, well... I might as well get out now. Because I might not, uh Get out much later. We just had to see our guns. I'm just going to walk uh, straight up the bank, Durham Road, and uh, head to the petrol station. Just to go into the shop there. I'm almost halfway up the bank. Just coming up towards the traffic lights. I'm not the only one up early. There's somebody uh, walking up the hill in front of us. So, maybe somewhere else who cannot sleep. I just seen a milk truck come past there. He turned in over here. Milkman. That's an early job, isn't it? Every every morning. Clarence Gardens, that's what you call that place. That's where he went in. Oh, lights changing, Green Forest champion. I'll not have to stop. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing here now, like. There's uh, road works going on all over the place. Around concert. I'm using me, um, me first, uh, Vlogging camera. Um, did you? Just thought I'll give it a try. I checked to see how much, how much um, battery it had, and it had ninety percent. So I thought uh, I'll use that one just for a change. I kind of zoom with it on output. But still, it's a canny camera. I made a lot of videos with it. Some are coming up. That's oh, a milk truck again. Must have done his drops in Clarence Gardens. Just starting the the real uh, heavy part of the hill now, like. Right, I made it to the top of Durham Road. <coughs> what a canny walk that, actually. Just going around the roundabout. Um, Thursday, I'm away to... Uh, where am I going again? Um, Halt whistle. Me mate uh, wants us to make a video of some walk in Halt whistle for his mother. His mum's from Halt whistle and she lives in Manchester now. Like, 
So we said we'd do a video for us, so he's gonna come for us if there was wind blowing new. He's gonna come for us if Thursday and we're gonna up the whole whistle. And uh <coughs> Got an ambulance come behind us, but there's a there's an ambulance station along the end of this road. I presume they'll be gone there for a cup of tea while they go a break. Wouldn't fancy their job, like got a hard job there, people. Um. Anyway, I've got a cousin that lives in Hogwarts and all, so we're going to pop in there for a cup of tea. Why we're up there? This, um, pardon me, this uh, street's bad. I mean, all these vehicles here are blocking the footpath. I'm on a different footpath here, but there's a footpath there, and they all parked on it. I mentioned that one before. So, as far as I know, the government's going to bring a law in where you can't park on footpaths. I know you can get fined for it now, but uh, they're going to abolish uh, parking on footpaths, so I don't know what these lots are going to do, because they'll park on the road then, which is going to block one lane of this road. This is the ambulance station. I thought they might have been gone there, but... They either got it, put it inside or they didn't come here. But they were going very slow as though they were heading for here. Normally you see a couple of doors open, but uh, they'll shut the neat. Then you've got the uh, fire station next door. And the garage is just there. This is called Villa Real, or Real, or however you want to pronounce it. So, uh, fire stations are in darkness, upstairs like. Got to work some funny hours, he's fine, man, like. Something like four, I think it's something like four days off the truck. Day and night, and um, sleep when they can. This malarkey. Um, they've got two fire engines in there, and they're both in there, so they must be out of sleep at the minute. Looks like space for three, but there's only two doors, so there's only two. When I used to work for Sky many years ago. There's a van parked up there in the corner. There used to be some lockers there. <clears throat> and uh, my sky stuff got delivered to there. And that's where I had to pick it up in the mornings. <clears throat> and any crap I had to send back used to get put in there. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Crap company to work for, by the way. I'm actually wearing a sky jacket now because my waterproofs is in the van so still got my old jacket that's what I'm wearing just in case it started to rain it's like the company is crap like but uh, better than out it's shower proof it's not waterproof I can't remember how you're getting here on foot Oh, there's a pathway there. Right, I'm at the garage anyway. Well, there's a price of fuel at SO Morrison shop. I got myself a bottle of Lucas Aid 
energy orange so uh, it's quite thirsty after a while I'll wait up that bank so I'm gonna go home but obviously a different way <coughs> I'm gonna have a walk along uh, Oakdale Road I know it's night time but I'll do it again sometime during the day so I don't know what you'll see of Oakdale Road in the dark for the the lady who asked us to film it for her who lives in Wolverhampton I believe that's what she said anyway <coughs> there's a truck coming I'm just walking around the middle of the roundabout what kind of truck is this? who does this belong to? Eldest Transport I wonder where he's up to right anyway I'm heading up that street up there and then turning right Ashdale Road and then then we'll uh, have a little trip around Oakdale Road it's in two halves actually I just thought I'm going to pick the right half for you you know there is now later on this is uh, Crocsdale Garage and KFM uh, well they mainly sell four wheel drives in the alley they've always got Land Rovers and stuff in anyway <coughs> Ashdale Road So uh, the lights is on light, but I don't know how the video is going to turn out. Talking about Ashdale Road registration, Ash. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm just crossing over the road here. Concert disabled. Persons Club Ash Grove down there Quite new estate Compared with the old ones up here I suppose a suitable name Ash Grove for Ash Dale Road So right at the top of this road here is uh, Madamsley Road, which I crossed over earlier when I got to the roundabout at the top of Durham Road. So I've walked uh, around that bit of a state on a nighttime walk. <coughs> but I haven't done this bit Well I'm coming up there shortly Just coming up the Oakdale Road now And uh, just up there Pete and Shell Lives up there Have a look at their channel It's a uh, Good channel so there's Oakdale Road, not a great lot to see really, from a video point of view, I'll, um, I'll just walk on this side of the road, and you can see, I hope I'm on the right side for you, but uh, as I say, I've already done the other side. So if you have a bit scout around there, one of my nighttime uh, jobs, you'll uh, see it. A couple of weeks ago, well, I think a month ago, put an aerial in this property here. It's just been sold. Uh, 
It was getting done up when we put an aerial in there. So, uh, that's the end of Oakdale Road, really. But it does go and do in there as well, across this road here and down there. This council van here has got the Durham Council, it's got a funny old flashy light, blue one. Just let you know it's alarmed. Right, well, I hope that was uh, alright for you. As I say, I'll do it through the day or something. Just gonna head up, up the top there to uh, Madamsley Road. Not sure what the time is right now, but the bin men's out. Somewhere I can hear them emptying bins. But yeah, they are not sharp, them not they? Right, uh, I've just came down here. Way up here, and uh, I don't even know these were getting built. Uh, five two bedroom and 13 three bedroom houses available as rent to buy and affordable rent. Chambers Court coming soon. We believe in life without barriers. Hmm. Interesting for somebody. I really didn't even know they were here. This uh, house is already up at the back. No windows in yet, like, but the the building itself is up. Chambers Court. That's what they're going to call it. <coughs> well, almost on uh, Medemsley Road. I'm on Medemsley Road now. That's. Uh, Concert swimming pool and leisure centre, and the schools behind it. I was just thinking, myself, you know, you'd you'd think walking well, around this time of night, you'd uh, see rats or something running about when you in the streets, and I never seen now, I never even seen a cat, never mind a rat. Look at this for a front garden. <laughs> Christ, I wonder what they've been knocking doing there. Front garden is absolutely chock a block with bricks. Must have been knocked a wall out or something. Very quiet on the streets, mine. Just past the block there on his way to wherever, work maybe. He's obviously uh, out and about early. Well, I've just got to get to the end of this road and then turn left back down, uh, back down Durham Road. Be easier going doing than it was coming up, that's for sure. Well, I'm almost back. That's a cricket ass pub. So, uh, that's the end of this video. I'll get back and uh, have a nice cup of tea, I think, and uh, upload this, and then see if I can get another couple of hours kip. Rather tired now, after that walk. See you all again. Ta-ra for now.